Good morning. We will pay attention to the break-even point today. If we look at the variable cost, it is cost that will change when you make more articles. So if we produce more, we will use more material. If we produce more, the, we will need more laborers. If we produce more, the people who sell the goods will have to increase their expenses to sell all the goods. Fixed cost per unit remains the same. So whether you produce a thousand articles or one thousand one hundred, the rent for the factory will be the same. The depreciation will be the same on the machines, whether you produce a thousand or one thousand one hundred. The people who are responsible for the admin duties in the business will get the same salaries irrespective of how many articles you make. The selling price per unit is what you will sell it for and then they give us the number of units that was produced during the uh, August and how many units were sold. Now if we look at the number of units you see that we produced more units that were sold so that means that we've got 70 units left over and we must take that into account because either you will have to reduce your production or you will have to do something to sell more units. Otherwise, you will sit with a lot of inventory in the end. Okay, if we look at the explanation of the various costs, variable cost is the cost that increases when you make more goods, direct material, direct labor will increase when the production increases. More goods will be sold, so more selling expenses will be necessary. Fixed cost remains the same, so you will have the same cost to pay the rent or the insurance for the factory or the depreciation on the machines, and you will pay the same admin expenses. What is the break-even point? This is a very important thing in a manufacturing business. If you don't know what your break-even point is, it means that you can work at a loss. This is the number of units produced where no profit and no loss is made. So it means it's exactly the number of units that you produce to just break even without any profit and without any loss. If you produce more than this break-even point, it means that you will start making a profit. If you produce less than the break-even point, you will make a loss. So why it's so important for a business to know where the break-even point is, is they must know that, for example, you have to produce 200 articles to break even. So if I want to make a profit, I must make more than 200 articles Otherwise, this business will never make a profit. If I realize that we are not making 200 articles, it means that we are working at a loss and we will have to do something to increase the number of units produced and the number of units sold. If we want to calculate the break-even point, we take the total fixed cost that was given to us and we multiply that with the number of units that was produced. And that will give us 363,000. Then we take the variable cost and we add all the figures that was given to us and we get our total cost. And they told us that the selling price per unit is 9,400. The total fixed cost is then divided by the selling price per unit minus the variable cost per unit. So the total fixed cost is the 363,000. The selling price per unit was given to us as 9,400. And we subtract from the selling price the variable cost of 6,100. That means that in this business, they have to produce at least 110 units to break even. If they only make 110 units, they will not make a profit and they will not make a loss. As soon as they start making more than 110 units, they will start making a profit.
Now, if we look at their calculations, the company currently produced 250 units, but they only sold 180. They will make a profit because they are uh, producing 250 and the break-even point is only 110. So they produce uh, 140 articles more than they have to produce to break even. But the big problem in this business now is that the amount produced is 250. The number that was sold was 180. So although they produce more than the break-even point of 110, they will have to be careful that they don't have additional stock that can cause storage problems and expenses, insurance expenses, loss due to theft or fire, products that can be damaged or stolen or whatever that will reduce their profits again. So as soon as you see that you make double the amount of units that you have to make, you must also ensure that you will be able to sell all those units. So what did we learn today? The variable cost increases when the number of units produced increases. So if we make more units, we will use more material and we will use more laborers, so the cost will increase. Fixed cost remains the same. doesn't matter how many units you make. So the rent, the depreciation, the salary of the factory manager will stay the same. The break-even point is to calculate how many units must be produced so that you don't make a profit and you don't make a loss. Then you must ensure that you make more units than this break-even point so that you will be able to make a profit.